been around older Mercedes for a while, you know what this part is. If you're new to Mercedes diesels, you may wonder, well, I'm not sure what he's holding here. But this is the engine-driven vacuum pump on the diesels produced from 1980 to 1985. And that includes the 240D, 300D, 300CD, 300TD, and the 300SD. You can recognize this particular pump because it just has one line coming out of the front of the pump. The pump itself produces vacuum that's required to do a number of things on your old vehicle. Number one, it helps to brake the car. It provides the vacuum assist to the brake booster, which gives you that nice, easy brake pedal feel when you hit your brakes. It also, on the 123 chassis, it controls the door locks. It also controls some of the vacuum and climate control mechanisms under the dash. And finally, it's the key to getting your engine to shut off. So if you're having problems in any one of those areas, the very first thing you want to do is to test that the vacuum pump is working properly. If the vacuum pump is not producing the proper amount of vacuum, you know, you can replace all kinds of parts and it's still not going to fix any, any specific problem that you're having. I have a manual which goes over the proper test procedure for testing a vacuum pump of this style. If you're not familiar with that process, then I recommend you refer to that manual. In this video, I'm just going to go over the kit that we have that will help you rebuild the pump should you decide that is indeed the problem. This pump is located on the left front side of the engine. It's a piston style pump, meaning that it uses a up and down piston motion to create vacuum. There's a cam that runs off the front timing device on the diesel engine that pushes down on this roller bearing, giving it the pumping action. Then inside there are three check valves that are located in these three holes as well as a check valve that's located right here. And these check valves have to be opening and closing at the proper time as the piston is moving up and down in order to create steady vacuum. The problems you'll see in these pumps are the old, it has a, a rubber type of piston ring and when these wear out you'll lose the seal on the internal uh, piston or you'll have problems with oil getting in and, and getting and gumming up these check valves. Or in some cases, you may have complete failure of this external check valve, which is located here. Any of these problems will cause the pump to fail. To replace these items will require removing this pump from the engine. Now let's go over some of the parts that are included in the kit. The heart of my kit are the internal replacement parts that come directly from Mercedes-Benz. These are OE parts and they include a new uh, cap seal, the new piston parts that you see here, as well as three new check valves and the seals for these check valves. This kit does not include the external check valve. I need to make that very clear because sometimes the problem could be this valve and it's only available to purchase separately. Along with these internal kits, we provide a new gasket for the pump. Once again, the pump will have to be removed from the engine in order to do this job. And then the unique thing in this kit is this little set of what I call tools. Well, what you're saying, Kent, that's just a piece of plywood and a block of wood and some screws. Well, it doesn't have to be very complicated, but you do need something like this to help you get this pump back together. This has a big spring in here and you can take it apart but trying to get the piston back on and the seal set and this thing all together without damaging it is near impossible without this thing right here. I call this the press tool, which will help you compress that spring so that you can get it together without damaging any of these internal seals. And finally, I include complete instructions on how to do this job yourself. I know you may be thinking, Hey, Kent, how hard is it to do this job if I want to do it myself? I class this as a two-star difficulty level for the DIY mechanic. If you've replaced your brake pads before, if you've done a valve adjustment, if you've changed your own oil, then I think you could do this. And I estimate you might save anywhere between three and four hundred dollars over what it would cost to take your car into a shop and have them overhaul your vacuum pump. So is that motivation? Well, it should be. So I encourage you to get out there and test your pump. 
spe specifically if you've been having any problems with those vacuum related components that I discussed earlier. And if you find there's a problem, go ahead and order our kit and just do it.